getting everything ready, but guess what? I'm going to Thailand and I'm gonna document all of it. First time, should be exciting. So, Thailand vlogs, let's get started. Also, gonna be going to Pattaya, which is the beach and then the island. So, should be fun. Somehow I got lucky and my tickets includes two suitcases plus a carry-on and purse so what i'm doing is i have a large and then a medium inside of it because i don't need two suitcases going to thailand but i'm gonna need two coming back in case i buy stuff so um yeah i'm only bringing a few things and then buying everything else there suitcase one suitcase two as you can see in it I'm bringing a yoga pants. There's bras and underwear underneath. I'm bringing two dresses in case I don't find anything. I like that because I'm very picky. Um, this is a sports bra. Um, underneath there's bathing suits. There's four bathing suits. Um, this is a shirt that I'm going to have to wear going to the temples because you have to cover your shoulder as a woman. So I bought this. It's very light then they sell a lot of those those kind of clothes in Thailand, but I figured I might just want to take one so I don't have to look for them later. This is a grocery bag. There's nothing in it. I'm going to put dirty clothes in the bag. So when I bring my dirty underwear home, <laughs> I don't have to uh, mix it up with my clothes. So that's why I keep a bag. Whiskey. And this is cat treats because there's a lot of cats on the street, but you're not allowed to pet them, sir. You're not allowed to pet them because they are full of worms and parasites. So I'm, instead of petting all of them like I did in Turkey, I'm going to give them treats. Yeah, that's pretty much all I'm packing. Oh, uh, and flip-flops. One of my labors was in Tokyo and yes, they had the smart toilets and even the baby holder. How crazy is that? I've never seen anything like it. I did not use the smart toilet. Um, I just don't want to get wet. Maybe it's like not working, but I did find a few vending machine, which is very popular in Japan. However, there were no English instructions. So I just started pressing whatever I wanted and it said that it's reading chips, but it was just not working out. So, uh, yeah, and everything was already closed. But I found some really cool vending machines that had like the toys that you can win, but I had no cash on me, at least not yen, which is the Japanese currency. And it only took the like, coins. Arriving to Thailand, the first thing I did for taxi um, is to get currency exchange and i also saw this awesome self-driving self-cleaning robot thing i actually ended up taking the subway to get to the station because it was so easy i'm gonna do a separate video on how to get around the thai subway system it's very easy once you learn it i just kind of like I, I had a picture of the map in my phone all the time so i knew which subway to take but I'd still use my phone's GPS to find the subway entrance. Once you like kind of learn like what goes where, it very it's very easy to get around and it's a lot cheaper than taxis. So this is where all the main attractions are and that's where I was staying. This is where the King's Palace is and most of the touristy stuff. On this trip, I'm here with my mom and we were staying at Shangri-La Bangkok Hotel. It was very nice, very comfortable bed. Uh, I didn't get to talk much to Steph because I honestly, we were out all day, but we got a nice view, kind of, you know, it's a little bit. But the good thing about this hotel is it has a free boat shuttle to Icon Siam, which is the fancy new mall. And across from the hotel that I accidentally stumbled up on on this indoor food sh street vendor thing and i think it's very locally because all the dishes is a little over a dollar and it's i mean as you can tell it's not touristy like 
40 baht that's just a little over a dollar super cheap and honestly this had to be the best food i had in bangkok it's super local garlic beef on rice that's 50 we got a dollar for 35 so that's less than two dollars for a whole plate i got um mama tom yum mama tom yum Kung Kung seafood 60 baht <laughs> they are 90 yeah. under yeah. two dollars yeah. yeah. still on the under let under green curry chicken 60. this was under two dollars that's crazy whoa look at that so much tomatoey see mushrooms shrimps nice lemongrass beautiful look at that cute mushroom obsessed i'm about halfway done the broth is super creamy super rich um it's slightly spicy but also sweet and um there's tomato paste in it so i think it's tomato based and lemongrass broth creamy and super rich it's good not too spicy but a little too sweet this is that um, garlic beef that's 60 baht no 50 50, 50. 180 dollars garlic pieces it's very good bit. very good oh okay that's very good a little bit fatty the meat but the garlic the fried garlic pieces give it a really nice kick to it it's crispy too after this we took a speed boat tour which was a thousand five hundred baht per person so about fifty dollars per person it went through like the little inlands of the canals which is like the river between like the houses it was not unfortunately we thought it's gonna be the the water the water market but no it was just like between some houses nothing special and then we went to Asiatic, which is a tourist location we took us um a boat bus thing um boat shuttle thing to it but we did not stay here for too long because it's very touristy the restaurants here are american prices the stores are also very very overpriced so i think it's just like a, a for the tourists to see so we did not stay here for too long and just took the boat back to the hotel and then went to a real night market because this was just not it so if you're only here for a few days you can definitely s skip um that place i loved walking bangkok at night i felt so safe it was very well lit up and the men here are very respectful they do not stare like in some other countries so i felt very safe this cat is just living life actually people here love cats and dogs so i did not see a single cat or a dog that was starving or even skinny especially the dogs were kind of fat and obese <laughs> And a lot of um a lot of the street animals had the collar on so they belong to someone like the the vendors and anyone who has a store here they kind of just adopt the pets. Also, Friday is Friday Saturday is the worst time to find taxi and there is no Uber, no Uber. And not on this day, but um a week and some days from now on it's gonna be a friday and when, when i tried to get a taxi almost all of them told me no because they said we're not going in that direction but like isn't that are, are you not supposed to just go wherever i need to go isn't that what you're getting paid for so um that's something you have to keep in mind that it's a really good thing to learn how the subway system works or maybe hire a personal driver. This night market is called the One Rachada Night Market. And I'm so stupid that I didn't buy stuff here because after this day, I spent so much time at Chatuchak and I found almost nothing. This had to be the it 
night market. The clothes were so much better than at Chatuchak. There was a lot of food things as well. Um, but this night market had a lot better quality stuff than Chatuchak. And I really like how the food section is separated from the clothes, so the clothes don't smell from the food. Um, that was a good selection of things here. And there was also a big selection for dog outfits which were so cute and these uh, night markets also do nails so in this minute you already saw two places that do nails and the food is in pretty good price too so yeah this is one of the night markets you have to come if you are looking to spend money because I did go to Chatuchak not once and um, it was kind of disappointing it was not good stuff liver So good. Soft on the inside, a little crunchy on the outside. Only 10 baht. What's that? Like 30, 30 cents? 30 uh, cents? 18 cents? Watermelon. No, 28 cents. There's a watermelon swinny 50 baht. That's like a dollar. Dollar what? Dollar 80? Almost two dollars. Mm. Less. Dollar 80. Yeah. Never. We were so tired from walking, so we wanted to sit down at a sit-down restaurant, and we ended up getting a plate that was fourteen dollars. That had a whole fish. It was tilapia fish, and um, shrimp, and some shells, which was not the best decision for the menu. I wish we could would have gone for something else because the shells were unedible. Fish. This was all right. These were unedible. Inside they were bloody, which is, I don't know. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. It was cheap. The tilapia was like cooked in salt, which is a very interesting. It was very soft, but I know how cheap tilapia fish is. Um, so I think $14 was a little overpriced for this. But look how long the whiskers are on these shrimp. And this plate is for two people. So $14 for two. Yeah, it's cheap, but like half of this was like not edible. Also, the, the pasta on the, on the middle was cold. But this Chang beer is so good. It's a Thai beer. I loved it. I wish we had that in America. So that was it. We ate the fish and the shrimp. Look at this. Is that supposed to be bloody? I'm not really sure, but um, I was... I. I don't know. I did not feel comfortable eating that. Let me get. Let me know if that is that is that normal. Has anyone tried bloody shells? Fresh off the grill. It's a little hot. After. Ooh. Oh my god, it's hot. Oh my god. It's spicy. After grilling it, they dipped it in spicy oil. How much was it? 40 baht. Dollar 25. Like a dollar 25. For two? For two skewers, a dollar 25. Those were octopus skewers, I forgot to mention. But um, this has to be my favorite night market of all of them that we went through. But we did spend more time in Pattaya, which um, was like... Uh, kind of a mistake i wish i had more time in bangkok but uh next time i found tokoyaki which is actually a japanese cuisine tokoyaki yes so good yeah had to had to have this although i'm not in japan oh this is salmon i try it with salmon mm. it fell apart Good. I think it's still a little bit raw. I think I had better ones. I think it's just hot. One ball. It's 30 cents. Mm -hmm. Big like chunk it. of salmon. Okay. I was craving something sweet. So I found this ice cream covered in marshmallow. So I had to try it.
I had to try it, but it was hard to eat. So hard. Oh my god, this is a melon ice cream. Messy. No. It's messy to eat. The ice cream is actually delicious. The marshmallow is very thin and very fluffy. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit until the ice cream melts a bit. It's more like a sorbet. I am so beat. Done with the market. I'm gonna go back to the hotel. I was looking for the cockroaches and the maggots. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have to try that. So maybe tomorrow is gonna be a better luck. But just now we're gonna go shower. This is a subway. Actually, it looks like the airport. It's 